in the bleak midwinter. Come on. Side with me, brothers. In the bleak, in the bleak midwinter. midwinter. Frosty wind, my mind. Earth. Is it hard as I am? Water. Lock a stein. No, it's now then, today I'm going to give you seven tips to take your Peaky Blinder impressions to the next level. I've chosen one tip, which I think is the best one for each character. And most importantly, these are actionable things that you can practice and implement straight away. Please drop a like on the video and let's go. The guy's impression of hot dog. Before we get started, there's a few things you'll need. A deep voice or a hundred packs of cigarettes, a hat, some fighting, a haircut, and a Killian Murphy. Master Shelby, you truly are destined for the gallows. My tip for this impression is to take a Northern Irish accent and really ham it up. Really accentuate the bit that makes it Northern Irish. Oh no, brown cow, Master Shelby. I want you to really strain your eyes like this and add a really creepy, passive-aggressive smile. At the end of sentences, add more depth, more croak, and really slow it down to demonstrate just how much of a c I really am. Arthur's voice of the Peaky Blinders is the most unhinged. It's the loosest body language, so you're going to want to practice the Arthur walk. It's the fucking burning wall, Tom. It's the fucking burning wall. Swinging those arms and loosen up the neck. What? What? Like you're up for a fucking boxing match, ain't it? Yeah. You want to bulge your eyes? If you warm up like this and immediately go into this body language, your offer impression will be for emoji. I assume you can already do a pitch perfect little finger impression from Game of Thrones, uh, so just do that. Only kidding there, Mr. Shelby. What you need to do is adopt a soft Irish accent and then Imagine what it'd be like to be in love with Sansa. No, but seriously, with Abrahama Gold, you need to focus on the mouth shape. Imagine your mouth is an instrument. The shape of it alters the noise that is coming out. The, like the bit at the end of the trumpet. The, the bit with the, you know, the, you know, you know what it is. If you alter that, you will alter the sound that's coming out. It'll be more like Abraham Gold. What I want you to do is to keep your lips tightly pursed and a slightly lopsided smile. And when you deliver it, I want you to deliver halfway between regular talking and a whisper. Understood. And then you've got to imagine yourself climbing a ladder, a chaotic ladder. Alfie, Alfie Sullivan's, uh, 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 uh. let me tell you one trick of Alfie Sullivan's, imagine someone is just here, I'm fucking talking to them right here, all right, and I'll say, I'll be talking to him, I will be looking at him, I'll be talking down this angle, and then right at the end, I will fucking turn round. For emphasis, mate. For emphasis. Ah. Yeah. It's a power play. Eh? 
But the key thing, all right, the absolute key fucking thing is to add the grunts uh, and the noises in around the words, you know, I think. Right. You want to take it to the next level, that's what you'll fucking do. Right. Here's some grunts and inaudible words that you should practice. Some Peaky Blinders noise ASMR. What's up? Well, I look at John Grata impression. It's the do a Mount Brando impression. Of the Peaky Blinder brothers, John has the most brummy accent. Here's a clip that you probably remember from the show. Boys haven't got a chance. They have to really do something. They've got to talk shit. No, Milner. What? No, Milner now. Huh? Milner? Anyway, in the league, they didn't do the business. No, Fust. No, nah, John. Mate, what'd you say? I said that I'm not. Bush. The one where they watch the Champions League final and Tommy gets his William Hill account blocked. For John, start with your Tommy impression and add more of the brummy to it. And then I want you to add a quality that's halfway between a gangster and an impudent child. No, I do not. I won't eat them. I'm not eating my vegetables. I won't. I won't do it to me. I want sweets, I want sweets, and a bag of cocaine. I feel like I'm going to cry. I think Tommy Shelby sounds most realistic when he is 30% of the way from a whisper to a normal speaking voice. And I want you to practice saying the words at an almost whisper. Almost shadowed the words, aren't you? You even hear exactly what he's saying. And I want you to do it with these words. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Alright. Agreed. Alright. Yeah. Agreed. I just want you to say them over and over at the back of the throat and practice going into the back of the throat at this whispering level. And then. And you can do that consistently. You can try and say more words. All right. I generally find that if you dip in and out of this sort of whispery mode, then it's more realistic for Tommy. Also, and this is key for Tommy, make sure you pin your shoulders back and stick your neck out. This should be the default body language for delivering a Tommy Shelby impression. It's also a physical trigger which starts jogging your memory into all those other things that you've practiced. And that is my seven tips for starting to nail Peaky Blinder impressions. Please drop a like, make sure you're subscribed, and have a good day. I do a great impression of a Charlie. <laughs> <laughs>